Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes & Associates. Today I'm going to show you a 1977 Islander 36. This model has uh, new sails, new canvas, many other upgrades. She uh, is in near Plymouth, North Carolina and ready to go sailing. So if you'll come with me, we'll go aboard and we'll take a look around. Only 800 of these Islander 36 models were built but they are uh, very popular uh, club racing uh, boats. Um, they do quite well uh, in local club regattas. She sails well to her uh, handicap, particularly this model with new sails and a, a new rigging or relatively new rigging. I think the rigging's uh, maybe five or six years old. Uh, all of this is documented and we do have um, all of the the records for the boat so you can uh, plainly easily see how well she's been taken care of. This Islander has a Harkin Ro Cruising One roller furling uh, system. This is a, a relatively new design by Harkin, practically indestructible. It's got a nice bronze spool on the uh, anchor roller, a decent sized uh, deck locker for the uh, anchor and chain, saving space for storage down below. The gel coat and paint is in good shape. Canvas covers over um, the hatch here. You can see the varnish has been done recently. The chain plates mounted inboard from the rail help the boat to point very close to the wind and facilitate in uh, walking down the deck. It's quite easy for me to walk back without holding on to anything. The dodger and the sail cradle are new as well as the sail in the sail cradle. It's a precision uh, cruising mainsail. We have si uh, 48 three-speed Blumar primary winches. You can see nice spacious cockpit. This boat is currently air conditioned by a, a window unit in the companionway. It's got a couple nice uh, comfortable chairs as well. So you can see we've got life, uh, life sling for safety gear. We've got boarding ladder. The propane is uh, mounted uh, outside on the rail. Engine gauges, good shape. The Garmin seven inch uh, GPS fodder was purchased in uh, 2021 or 2022. Nice Ritchie compass and a Garmin GPS map, uh, map 60, which was on the boat when it was purchased. There's an older autopilot on the boat, but it doesn't work. Um, it needs uh, repair or replacement. Decent cockpit cushions. Access uh, to the engine through um, lazarettes as well as uh, down below. Um, all in all, a very easy to sail boat for short-handed crew, and yet a spacious enough cockpit to make everybody comfortable on a on a crew journey. Nice, uh, easy opening doors. There are separate doors made for when the air conditioner isn't utilized. You can see the interior is light and spacious with a, a new uh, teak laminate flooring put in, including new hatch boards made. As you come into the main salon, you've got a nice size settee to port with part of the galley, including um, the portable refrigerator freezer which has been uh, implemented here uh, just forward of the um, corner berth here. With the modern GPS's this uh, chart table will probably not be missed and I know the refrigerator and freezer will be welcome. Nice steps down the companionway and easy access here. The galley is to starboard with a single bin sink. 
nice chest, nice cutting board, and a uh, little two burner um, gas range, a Dometic. Looks like a very good quality unit. And this air conditioner keeps it nice and cool in here. The air fryer does not convey, I'll tell you that. Uh, a small table could easily be added to to make a larger table for dining. You can see also a settee to starboard there, which can be a convertible berth. There's even uh, additional cushioning in this to make it a comfortable berth. You can see this is one of the hatches that was rebuilt. Very nice work. Keel bolts were replaced at some point. We got, we'll have to inspect the uh, records for that, but the, as I said, everything is recorded. I've got a stack of paperwork on the vessel. All the interior woodwork is in good shape. There have been repairs, you can see, but the boat's been uh, kept up with very well. Nice sliding doors. These are all engine spare parts, belts, hoses, filters. Adequate fire extinguishers installed, two of them in this booth. And then you've got storage here to starboard just before uh, going forward. And the head is to port. It's got a rare tan manual head with a single bin sink, nice fixtures, nice wood woodwork. The shower works, although it does drain to the bilge, so you just have to pump the bilge and clean it occasionally. So we do have some storage here just forward of the V-berth. And under the V-berth here. V-berth is a good size, large enough for two people to sleep comfortably. And you can see lots of additional storage. The mast is uh, keel stepped, and uh, when the rigging was replaced, the um, keel step was redone. You'll probably not get to see it, but um, the keel step itself is a, a brand new, a, a relatively new um, aluminum plate. So the steps were moved to give access to the engine forward. And then, of course, the batteries here covered with some nice rubber flaps. So these are the AGM house batteries. Access to the engine, and you can see the engine isolators look practically new. The engine looks like it's been well cared for. All the clamps and hoses look in good shape. And there's a stainless steel... Uh, fuel tank located behind the uh, the engine in there all in very good shape